Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Jeff's English Coaching. And today I want to talk about a business English article. You can read the article yourself before or after watching this video. I just want to focus on some key terms and words and phrases that I think will be helpful for you, and that might be a little bit difficult. So first we have miss out. Miss out means to lose an opportunity, to not take advantage of something or not experience something. And it's a phrasal verb, and those are very common, so you should not miss out on the opportunity to learn them anytime you see them in context. And now let's look at a big boast, crop, lagging behind, and flagship. These are all important words, and we're going to look at each one separately. I have some images that I'm going to show you. <clears throat> and a big boast, okay? To boast or to brag means to talk about how wonderful you are, how great you are. So here we see this woman in red, she's boasting, she, she's bragging. And it's a little bit annoying, can be rude. You can see the woman in green, she doesn't look very happy. Um, so if you have a big boast, something you can talk about um, that you did, how wonderful you, you are or something you accomplished, um, that's a big boast and it might annoy people, but um, it's something people do sometimes. Okay, and next, we have crop. So normally we use crop to talk about vegetables, grains, or fruit that farmers grow. You can see here this man is checking his crops. But in the article, they talk about a crop of, of phones, a crop of smartphones. That's not a normal use, but um, it's an interesting use. So just be aware of that. All right. And next, we have to lag behind. To lag behind or fall behind in competition means to go more slowly than other people. Um, to fail to keep up with everyone else in competition, whether it's business or athletics. So don't lag behind. Don't fall behind. Keep up. Work hard. Do your best. And next, we're going to talk about flagship in the navy the most important ship in in the fleet or in a group of ships is the flagship it's where the commander usually is so in business a flagship product is the most important product it's what the company is known for and that's flagship all right next we have thorny, a thorny relationship, and to loosen your grip. So thorny, this is an expression, every rose has its thorns, right? So some plants, such as cacti and roses, as you see here, have thorns. They'll hurt you if you touch them, if you grab them, right? So if a relationship is thorny, that means it's a difficult relationship. It's controversial. It's problematic. Um, obviously, they're talking about a business relationship that's thorny, but it could be any kind of relationship. So that's thorny. Those are some thorny plants. Okay, and next we have loosen up uh, your grip. So a grip is your hold on something. If you close your hand on something, you're gripping it. You can grip a tennis racket or a golf club. You might need to loosen up your grip to not hold on so tightly, to let go of control or to completely let go of something. To loosen up your grip. And next, we're going to look at slick new design, bragging rights, laggards, luring and cutthroat pricing. <clears throat> so slick new design. So slick means excellent, wonderful, ingenious, or clever. So as you'll see here in the picture of the cell phones right on the far left you have some older versions no one would want to use those these days right on the far right you have slick 
new designs, slicker, they're, they're easier to use, they're more fun to use. So that's what is meant by that term, a slick new design. And then bragging rights, so to brag or to boast again means to talk about how wonderful you are, to talk about your accomplishments. So if you win a competition, you have bragging rights. You can tell everyone that they lost and you won, and eventually people might start to get irritated or upset. So don't do it too much, but bragging rights in business or in sports just means the ability to say that you won and, and tell everyone else about it on a regular basis. So again, to lag means to fall behind, to go more slowly than others. So if you are a laggard, then you are slower than everybody else. So if you want to keep up with the competition, you need to work harder and faster so you don't fall behind, you don't lag behind, you don't become a laggard. And then we have to lure, so fishermen catch fish sometimes by using lures. So if someone is luring you in to something, they're trying to attract you, to get you to do something. So salespeople use different, different techniques for luring customers into their places of business and to buy things. Luring, to lure. Like what you do to catch a fish. And last we have cutthroat pricing. So here a man is having his throat cut. So if it's cutthroat business or cutthroat pricing, that means it's very, very competitive. Very competitive. We say it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Dog-eat-dog -dog world. Cutthroat pricing. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Please leave comments, questions, and suggestions and requests in the section below. Thank you.